All right, you have your tea. Now let's get you set up in the library. You mean the room with the books I can literally see from here? Joy, I don't need to have any attitude. I can set myself up, Dad. Thanks. These associates get young and angrier, don't they? That's not an associate, that's my daughter. You think I didn't know that? I can spot a ninth grade pushback from a mile away. Let me ask you something. How'd you manage your kids? What do you mean, manage them? I mean, Joy got in trouble at school, that's why she's here. And she may be a pain in the ass, but she finishes her homework in 18 seconds, and all I have today is paperwork. I got it. Your daughter won't listen, and you don't want to talk to her anyway. No, I just don't know what to say to her to get her to hear me. That's because sometimes there's no way to get them to hear you. But they might hear someone else, someone... someone cool. Someone like you? No. No, no, not me. Come on, Gretchen. What's it gonna take? I'm not saying I won't do it. I'm saying it won't work. Why not? Because it can't be someone you think is cool. It has to be someone she thinks is cool. Well, look at that. Maybe you're not doomed after all. Now move out of the way. I gotta get me some of that almond milk. You must be Joy. That's the name they gave me. I'm Samantha. Your dad's gonna be stuck in meetings all day, so he asked me to check in on you. Samantha, is it? He didn't ask you to check in on me. He asked you to keep an eye on me because you're the cool one. Well, you might be cool to him, but you're not cool to me. Okay. I see what this is. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Your what? My why I got suspended. You got suspended? Just once, but from three different schools. That's the football field. I used industrial bleach. That shit's not coming out for months. Wow, that is some colorful language. So, what'd you do? The worst one? I boosted a car from the school parking lot. You stole somebody's car? Not somebody's, the principal's. Turns out, that is not a good idea. Got it, don't steal the principal's car. I'm not saying breaking the rules is a bad thing. I'm saying you just need to know which ones to break. I don't think you're supposed to tell me that. Maybe not. But if you're gonna help me the next couple of days, you should know how I work. Help you? Yeah, I've got a deposition this afternoon and nothing to force the other guy's hand. You in? I'm in. Well then, Joy, you and I are gonna need some coffee. Don't tell me they ran out of coffee. No, I got something better than coffee. I didn't know what to do, so I just hit record. Does it help? It sure as shit doesn't hurt. Huh. Does that mean we don't have to sit here and smile at them? No, it just means it's gonna be a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> Excuse me, who is she and what's she doing here? Let's go to work with your parent day. Mm -hmm. She's your daughter. Something like that. But of course, if you're too afraid to have her here, she doesn't have to be here. Oh, fine with me if she stays, since this is going to be the world's shortest deposition. Because you're ready to admit you infringed on my client's patent to create your generic knockoff? Because my company developed that drug from scratch and your client has no proof we didn't. Actually, we do have proof. We're just not gonna use it. <laughs> you're not gonna use it because it doesn't exist. I'm not gonna use it because I'd like you to lie to my face in this deposition. And why is that? So when I reveal what we know in open court, you not only lose this case, you get charged with perjury. Can't you get sent to jail for that? Why, yes, Joy, you can. But you'd probably go bankrupt first trying to fight it. Mm. Mm. You're bluffing. You don't have shit on them. I guess there's only one way to find out. So, Mr. Coleman, did you or did you not rip off our patent to create your bullshit new drug? And before you answer, I'd like you to think back that decaf latte you were drinking before coming up here, and more specifically to the person waiting in line by your table while you were trying so hard not to look at me. That's what she's doing here. You set us up. You set yourself up because you went to a public place and discussed a case loud enough for a 15-year-old girl who just happened to be recording the coffee shop to pick you up on tape. Now, for the last time, where'd your new drug come from? How much do you want? 